Civilization from ancient times, from the first Native American people to Minoan civilization to Indus Valley civilization, have been gardening for millennia. When people realized they could save seeds and then plant seeds during the springtime and tend to them and harvest the fruits later during the summer, they were no longer confined to only forging and they could sustain their family without the limitation of just being at mercy of what they find at random forging and what was left over by the animals roaming in the wild. I often think if we all are growing our food organically in the best capacity that we can, what a positive impact that will bring to the world. Also tending to a greenhouse or a garden requires a certain level of moving your body and exercise. And the routine exercise in itself provides health benefits from lowering blood pressure, reducing tension and stress, raising feeling of accomplishment in the reward center of the brain. A sustainable greenhouse or garden elevates your property value, reduces money spent on groceries, and you eat the healthiest food that you grow for yourself. The mineral portion of soil consists of fine particles of ground up rock minerals, which over course of time are formed as earth crust weathers through its physical processes. Broadly, rock breaks down and creates soil medium, but this medium is similar to canvas. Like painting a canvas is essential, but canvas alone does not resemble painting. There is chemistry in the soil. Chemical properties of soil include pH, salinity, cation exchange capacity, CEC, anion exchange capacity, AEC, organic matter, and carbon to nitrogen ratio, C is to N. Companion planting is a cultural aspect of organic gardening, particularly to the veggie garden. Companion planting is a strategy that naturally interrelates to the ecosystem with the plants interact with the fungi, soils, insects, and microorganisms. The plants use chemical signaling to interact with each other through the network of fungi in and around their roots, aiming to influence the insect world when they feel threatened. Companion planting is also used to reach the goal of reducing pests in the garden. Using pesticides over the years have caused harm and concerns to many living organisms, including humans. Here are a few combination of trap crops and vegetable crops. To protect cabbage from diamondback moth, grow collard a feet away. To protect tomatoes from southern green stink bugs, mostly found in southern US, grow cow pea, which is also a summer cover crop. Now for a common pest problem of aphids, which host on collards and other cold crops, growing calendula, also called pot marigold, is very effective. There is always something new to learn and practice. This course is what I have learned so far and I'm confident you will add more knowledge and experience to it.